Boom shakalaka, what is up guys? Randall here from Crypto Love and today we are talking about Skycoin. Now last night we had a late night live stream and a few people were asking about this and honestly I didn't know the answer to it. So they're like, what's up with Skycoin? So I took a look and holy cow, pretty impressive project. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. A couple things before we get started. Thank you so much to everyone who's subscribing. Thank you to everyone who's mashing on that like button. Guys, if you didn't see it earlier today, we had a live stream with Peter from Bite Size Bitcoin, the Doge Lord. Okay, it was awesome. Very, very good. Take a look at that one. Also, guys, if you want to be part of a cruise, all right, I am going on a cruise with whoever wants to go, um, leaving from Miami March 9th to the 12th. Going to the Bahamas, guys, it's $1,500 per person. That gets you your own room with a view of the outside. We're going to have fun. We're going to party. Um, check it out, crypto-love.com slash cruise, all right? And also, we'll be talking about cryptos for a few hours every night. But let's take a look. What's going on with Skycoin? All right, so we take a look at the website here. They have, I like the color blue. It's a nice, it looks nice. But they have a few different things going on. I started to take a look at this because a few people asked last night and I said, you know, I don't know that much about it. I'm going to do a bit more research. And honestly, I'm a bit blown away by everything that's going on here and how there's no talk about this, no hype about this, nothing going on. I mean, if you take a look at this stuff, you can go through their website on your own. The goal here, all right, they're trying to, this, they're trying to do Satoshi's original vision, all right? They're trying to make a decentralized cryptocurrency. Now, a lot of people are saying they're trying to do that nowadays. But let's look at all the projects they have going on here. That's all listed here on the right hand side. All right. So they have their own blockchain. Great. Um, then they have their own programming language, CX. They also have CXO, which is storage, stuff like storage or SciaCoin. They also have Skywire, which is decentralized internet, things like Substratum, Tron stuff like that. They have ViScript, which is decentralized computing, stuff like Gollum, stuff like Sonom. Okay, they also have decentralized VPN, like Mysterium. They have a messenger, like the Kin Messenger or Kick, whichever it is. They have mobile wallets, and then they also have BBS, which is a social network, stuff like um, Steemit or ONG Social. I mean, very ambitious project. They're looking to do all of this stuff on there. Um, but the reason that I think they can get it done is because if we take a look at the roadmap, okay, this is the end of the roadmap right here where we're at right now, but look at how long ago it starts. It starts way back in 2012, all right? They start out by searching for replacement of proof of work, all right, which is a web of trust they have going on now. They also, I mean, the development just goes on and on and on. They're not this brand new coin that came out of nowhere that's just a, a pie in the sky idea. They've been working on this for years and years. And somehow they just never really got promoted that much. I mean, totally was under my radar until last night. And uh, yeah, this is something that does look very promising. They have a bunch of really interesting looking projects going on there. Now you guys know I always say go read the white paper. Well, if you click on the white papers here, <laughs> there's more than one white paper to read and they're quite technical, but it's always worthwhile before you invest in anything, read the white paper. Guys, read white papers, I say it a million times. Um, now, if we take a look at it on CoinMarketCap, I know I've looked at the price a couple times, all right? And the prices that I remember were $4 and $15, all right? Well, now it's $35. Wow, it's shot up from where it was not too long ago. And recently, uh, in the past couple days, December, right around Christmas, it was like $18. And then it got up to a high of $40. Now it's down to $35. Now here's the thing. The other day, I made a video about KuCoin, talking about some potentially really big cryptocurrencies that are only available on small exchanges. Well, take a look at this. Skycoin right now is only available on Cryptopia, a little bit on C2CX. They also have in the roadmap um, getting listed on some other exchanges. So definitely the more exchanges they're on, the higher the price is going to go up. But this, what they're aiming to do really is to be the cryptocurrency. They're kind of aiming to like outdo Bitcoin in terms of what they do. And in terms of all those projects, um, 
it's bringing together all of the greatest ideas into one coin, into one project. So that's why I think this one has a lot of potential. Now, some other things, uh, it's always important to take a look at, you know, if they are active in the community. So we take a look at the blog and yeah, they're blogging pretty much every, every few days. So they're adding stuff on there all the time. Lots of information about everything going on there. Additionally, Twitter, same thing. They're updating that all the time. They have a lot going on. So very active community, very, um, they've been around for quite a while. All those things are very helpful. Now, just some other things I wanted to mention. So Skywire is one of their things that they're working on. That's the new internet, decentralized internet. I know last week Tron got a huge pump because people were talking about them as being the new internet. And this is something that people are aiming to do because there's the whole net neutrality act that just got passed. All right. So basically big, I don't exactly know how the whole net neutrality thing works. Basically it's like big businesses and companies. They want to control the internet, charge you more for doing whatever. But basically if it's decentralized, they have no say in it anymore. So projects like that are going to be extremely lucrative stuff like substratum stuff like tron stuff like skycoin okay this one is totally off the radar like i really don't hear people talking about this one um, and i want to thank whoever pointed it out in the late night live stream last night because it was off my radar too what else do they have they have the skywire miner so this is going to be the mining rig to develop the new internet i mean decentralized internet yeah awesome another thing that i wanted to mention with the cryptocurrency on coin market cap. So I did mention that it's on very limited uh, exchanges right now. That's one thing that's like, if there's a good project on limited exchanges, once it gets moved to more exchanges, yeah, the price is going to explode. But another thing that I wanted to show you here, the circulating volume right now is six and a half million sky out of a max supply of a hundred million. All right, and what they've done is they want this to truly be a distributed uh, cryptocurrency, decentralized distributed cryptocurrency. They don't want a few people to own the majority of it. Like if we look, take a look at Bitcoin, three or four mining pools own half of Bitcoin. All right, that's not happening with this because of the slow distribution. They're actually only distributing up to 5% of Skycoins per year um, for at least 14 years to help distribute this among all the people out there. What that does is basically it's a very long ICO. I mean, it's not in an ICO right now, but this is how you think about it. Just compare it with EOS, for instance. EOS has an, a year long ICO. People put off buying it for a long time because they're like, oh, it's in the ICO, it's not a big deal. Um, well, the price just shot up from 50 cents to $8 and some. This one is 14 plus year ICO, like only second or third to Bitcoin and Ethereum themselves. So very long distribution period, that gives you a chance to get in to build a larger position in it while it is still small, while it is still young. Now, if we take a look at the price action by itself, this is just over the past month or so, it is at all close, very close to all time highs. Um, and I, I know I always say I would not buy at all time highs. This is one where I would definitely watch it. And if I wanted to get into it, I would consider doing dollar cost averaging to get into it. All right, because this is one that definitely has potential to go up. Now, it also has potential to come back down because of price in the past few months, I'll show you here over the past year. Okay. Uh, over the past year, it went from $4 to $15 to now $35, $40. So it does have potential to come back down as well. The Bitcoin comparative is at almost all time highs. The US dollar comparative is at almost all time highs. So uh, watch for the price to come down on this one, but this is one that potentially could be a very good long-term play. Could be, I mean, right now it has a $228 million market cap not even a billion dollar market cap, all right? This is something that could definitely be up there in the top 20, top 30, something like that. And doing that, that would be easily five times increase. We would have $150 Skycoin. All right, guys, so that was basically all about Skycoin. I think it is a very ambitious project, but they have a lot of really cool stuff going on. It's like a mix of all the coolest cryptos all together. Um, 
other than that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Also, if you want to join in on that cruise, CryptoLove.com slash cruise. And if you guys want to win a free Ledger Nano S, I give one away at the late night live stream every Tuesday night. Go to Crypto-Love.com slash Ledger. You could be entered to win that. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. I love it very much. All right. Peace.